You came along at a fantastic time in mountaineering history to have this opportunity to go and do things that had been the apple of the eye of many explorers for many, many years. And uh, you seem to, history crossed paths with the man who was put on this planet, I suppose, with the abilities to be able to take on that task. Um, how do you feel having been given these, this is a wonderful opportunity for somebody, but. Uh, well, it was, a, you know, it was a great chance for me. And uh, I think perhaps I, maybe I was the right person at the right time. And, um, but I never initially had absolute confidence uh, that we were going to be successful. Uh, my uh, only feeling was uh, that uh, I would uh, do uh, as hard as I could uh, to uh, help the expedition get to the summit. And I did. I worked extremely hard. I was very fit. And Tenzing and I made a, a very good team. And, uh, and ultimately, of course, uh, we managed to reach the top of the mountain. Can I, can I ask him a question? Absolutely. There's a sure question enough, I've always... If I could ha have you squeeze next to me okay. so I've got him uh, sure. looking. Come on over. Yeah. There's always a question I was... And I asked your son Peter this. I know that uh, you went, I think, to the North Pole with Neil Armstrong, right? Yep. A long time ago. Obviously, you two are very significant figures in exploration, you know, each having achieved something very special. What did you talk about? Did he ask you about Everest? Did you ask him about the moon? I mean, was there some sort of unspoken... Well, I, I really enjoyed Neil, Neil Armstrong. Uh, we um, flew into the Arctic and landed on the frozen lake. And there was a, a little uh, hut there. And we spent the night in the hut. And, uh, and we talked a lot. But you know, I hardly uh, uh, asked any questions at all. It was really uh, Neil who was uh, much more talkative uh, about his experiences uh, than I was. I asked him many questions and uh, I was intensely interested uh, in his experience. Uh, but I didn't uh, talk too much about uh, my own activities. That's, it, that's interesting because in general uh, Neil Armstrong is a very private man. And you, you tend to be a lot more outgoing, and the impression most people would have it would probably be the other way. Yes, well, it didn't, it didn't happen with us that way. <laughs> I was certainly intensely interested uh, in his experience, and uh, I guess I did. I asked the majority of the questions. What, was there any sort of discussion of the fate of fame? I mean, you both have experiences with fame, and I'm sure both of you grew up not expecting to be famous. Um, not really. I think both of us uh, felt that um, we had been uh, had the good fortune uh, to uh, achieve uh, something unusual, and uh, <coughs> I actually asked Neil. Uh, I said to him, uh, how was it that you were the first uh, person to uh, set foot on the moon? And he said it was just luck. Of now, course, I didn't believe him, but I mean the... Uh, now, could you imagine if his first words when he landed on the moon was, we knocked that bastard off? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he probably had a, a little bit all written out for for him on that uh, person. Mine was, after all, uh, our expedition uh, was in, in many ways a much more uh, unscientific and relaxed activity. And so when I was asked by my good friend George Lowe as to uh, uh, how, how um, we had done on the mountain, I just spoke to him as uh, another climbing friend. <laughs> well, George, we knocked the bastard off. <laughs> Would you have changed the words now in retrospect? Well, when I got back home, my mother was absolutely horrified. <laughs> she said, Edmund, you didn't say those words, did you? <laughs> and I have to admit that I had. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I'm going to let you go. Yeah, I, I know I know that you yeah. have to run. I wanted to ask you one last question. Um, what you did in 1953, 
was a great accomplishment. But I think your greatest legacy is the commitment and the work that you did in the years following to give back to the Sherpa people. And to me, that's one of the greatest examples that someone could set. If you could just speak ever so briefly about how much time and commitment you took giving back, that seemed to be the true legacy of your life, at least to me. Well, I think it's, there was no doubt at all. Uh, if I think about it at all, um, about uh, what has been the most important thing uh, I, I've been involved in, it hasn't been uh, the uh, climbing of mountains or the reaching of the poles. Uh, it unquestionably uh, has been uh, the carrying out of projects uh, for my good friends the Sherpas, the building of schools, uh, hospitals, uh, bridges, and all those sort of things. Those are the things uh, that I really regard as uh, being completely worthwhile. Fantastic. Thanks so much.